Okay, so now it's going to be for the next step here. Uh, I'll talk about my final thoughts on NSP95 in, in the video before this one. Uh, but we're going to use NSP45 from Dr. Beasley's. You don't have to use this step uh, because you don't need to do an IPA wipe with their other two products. So I'll just show you uh, how many. This one's more like a cream cheese kind of consistency. It's really chunky. I'm going to put like a four little dots. This is what I mean about the, I don't like this dispenser on it. It's kind of, kind of dumb. Let me just put like four little dabs of here and then I'm just going to work it in. So this is a CarPro gloss pad that I'm using it on. You can use it with a foam finishing pad of your choice. I just chose to use a CarPro gloss pad so you can see what I put on there. Uh, pretty straightforward. I'm actually going to work a larger section than my previous uh, pass. I'm going to step it down to four on the root pass. So I'm just going to So I'm going to work this entire scoop and I'm just going to work also faster arm movement. So that's all I'm going to be doing. I'm going to just do about three section passes, pretty quick arm speed here. And then uh, normally I would do this entire hood and then come back and wipe it off. This is actually easier to wipe off than 95. Uh, you don't need to do this step. I'm going to just try it as a two step and see what happens. See if we get an increase in gloss, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so it's completely wiped off. Now this product has a tendency to come back and have like a ghost, a ghosting effect. Uh, they said it's completely normal. You can go ahead and just uh, wipe it off and just coat over it uh, just in case it does come back. Uh, so again, that's the NSP45 real quick on how to use it. Again, it depends on how hard your paint is. You can get away with uh, possibly just getting doing this on a polishing pad. I'm using it with CarPro gloss pads. If you don't have a gloss pad, any foam finishing pad will do. For example, on the on the Rupes Nano, I have a uh, Rupes white pad. So, again, that's the Dr. Beasley's NSP45. If you guys are interested in giving this a go, this is a finishing primer, and this is actually going to, what they say, create the anchor for your ceramic coating or your coating of, of choice. So, uh, again, thanks for watching. We're going to just go ahead and I'm gonna go around the car, and I'll give you my final thoughts on NSP45 once I'm done with the entire car. We'll see if it I notice an increase in gloss, primarily probably not, uh, but we'll see, All right? Thanks for watching. All right, welcome back everyone. So that's gonna be final thoughts on the Dr. Beasley's Nano Surface Primers. Uh, primarily I use these two. Uh, I used the 150 on glass. A uh, little difficult to wipe off on the glass. It was a little bit smeary on there, but again, I, I don't really know the cleanability on it. So I'm gonna kind of set this one aside because I really didn't use it, but this is their heavy cut primer, uh, basically their compound. Uh, basically the way it goes through compound, medium cut polish, and then their finishing polish. Now, all of these have their uh, primer in it, their SiO2, TiO2 primer. Uh, one thing about uh, NSP45 is that it doesn't need a panel wipe. And so I asked Dr. Beasley, somebody at Dr. Beasley's, uh, whether that applies to 11595 and they told me yes as long as you wipe off the polish residue you're good to go in terms of not needing a panel wipe again just follow the 45 where you have to wait 30 minutes before you start putting a coating on top of it now i'm going to put that one aside because i'm going to talk about these two so the first thing that um, you know i use nsp95 which did a good job of removing um, the, the existing coating on there, again, I didn't have a lot of defects on there. I used it on the on the side pillar and I did a good job on it. I'll, I'll post the, the picture of the side pillar, kind of 50-50. I uh, did a good job because I did clay the, the car. Um, again, these have 
SiO2 and TiO2 and I'm guessing the SiO2 in here is probably for uh, the foundation layer which gives you the hardness of the uh, silica in there and then the TiO2 is probably giving you the reflectivity to give you that real nice uh, glossy look on there now all these have their they're calling it DX Prime technology it says um, so that it can grab onto the paint surface and bond to them while the paint surface is still exposed. This greatly enhances the coating's ability to cross-link in order to improve durability. So um, that's one one thing about uh, these is they're claiming uh, to extend the durability of your coating of choice. Now, one thing about the or all these that I didn't like is the bottle and the dispensing of it. I mean, once you crack this open. You know this thing gets in the gets in the way of of putting polish on your pad, so it's pretty annoying. The other thing is I can't really tell how much polish I have in here, so I have to kind of guess that you know I have about six ounces left of uh, polish in this one. I like I said I can't really tell because if I, even if I shake it and I can feel it in there, uh, but there's air in here, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. So. Uh, again, I don't really like this, but I understand the concept that this flows in with their their lineup as part of the doctor um, idea. Uh, but again, if the other thing is if we can get larger quantities, you know, 16 or 32 ounce bottle of of polish or either of these would be um, would be really nice. As you know, I'd, as much as I like eight ounce products, I prefer a, a 16 a minimum 16 ounce of a polishing compound. Uh, eight ounces is great if you just want to test the product out and uh, then you can go from there so I, mean, I probably have enough to do you know a couple more cars but if i come across a large suv you know i'm probably going to be using this up completely so no issues with 95 long working time no dusting uh, lotion like consistency um, did a good job of uh, cut and finish on the soft black pillars uh it's really I got nothing bad to say about this one. It's just the cons are, are about the, the bottle and the and, and part of it, but not the, the overall product is good. Now, NSP45 is their finishing primer. Uh, this one, again, they're claiming that you don't need a panel wipe. So it says, do not use an IPA wipe after using this product. Follow directly with nano coating. Wait 30 minutes uh, before application of coating products. And again, SO2, TO2. And this has again the DX Prime technology. This product lays down anchor points to act as a cross-linking agent, allowing for a durable nexus and making it ideal for use as a last step before coating application. So that's the claim for this one. Again, no issues with this one. This one's a little bit like uh, like cottage cheese when you put it out there. That's the consistency of this guy. Um, no dusting, long working time. Again, I wasn't too. I wasn't using it for its correcting ability, but more of its uh, gloss enhancing ability. Um, but it did repair any marring that was left on side pillars that NSP95 uh, left behind, so it did a good job there. One thing I will mention that this one has is the ghosting effect. Uh, you will see that show up on various surfaces. It doesn't show up on everything, it just kind of shows up, and I'll show you what that looks like because I do have it. So again, these can be used as your primer for any type of coating, whether it be ceramic or graphene. Uh, you can just use it. So we're going to just go ahead and um, play around with. Uh, I'm going to be using these two on the on the paint. Uh, so we're going to we set the foundation for that ceramic coating. So um, stay tuned for that. So let me get up and show you what the car looks like, and I will show you that ghosting effect of what I'm referring to. Okay, so here's the front of it. Uh, as you can see, it looks pretty pretty good. I mean, I know the lights, it looks great. The car already looked great because I had it dialed in with after I polished it with Preflex, and I coated it with IGL Kenzo, which looked fantastic on here. But I mean, uh, you know, it looks good just standing in front of it. Whether it's glossier than previously, I can't really say because it's silver. Silver always looks good once you lay down the first uh, polishing step. So let me just kind of walk you through. Uh, here's the, the back end of it, you know, it looks really nice. Uh, I will show you this pillar here, which turned out really good. You can see it looks good. Um, so I don't, know if, I don't know if you guys can actually see that. Uh, right here, 
is that ghosting effect and um, I don't know if you guys can actually see that I might have to bring in with the phone to, to see it but um, I think I'm gonna do that um, but you'll notice it looks like it's um, oxidized but it's not it's just a ghosting effect and if you wipe it it goes away and it may come back and they said that that's perfectly fine uh, I'll bring it I'll show you the other side with, the, with my phone um, they said it's perfectly fine if it does that can I just kind of see if I have any more areas where I can show you uh, they say you can just coat over it and it'll go away so um, we'll just kind of walk around turn the light off here um, you know the car looks good just sitting under the garage lights I didn't touch that area because we got our coatings on there uh, I don't know if you can actually see this one I think this shows up better you can see those little um, the, looks like DA haze um, so if I wipe one of these down you can see it goes that that goes away so I think that hopefully that shows on camera where I'm referring to in terms of the ghosting that you get with NSP 45 um, again completely normal uh, I can already see it coming back on this side that I wiped off so it's completely normal it says you can just coat over it and then it'll, it'll go away but again the car looks good um, overall satisfied with the uh, 95 and 45 and once we get a car where I need like maybe do spot correction on I'll use the 150 but again we've set our base layer uh, for uh, our ceramic coating of, of choice or coating of choice whether it be a ceramic or a graphene so if you guys have any questions on the uh, Dr. Beasley's uh, NSP line you know just go ahead and give me a, a, a comment here and I'll respond to the best of my ability Welcome back, again guys. thanks for watching here's a close-up view hopefully it shows up on camera of the ghosting effect that you get there it is perfect view of it of the Dr. Beasley's NSP 45 I'll, sh I'll wipe down the, this side here and I'll show you what it looks like after I wipe it down so let me just go over it a couple times and you can actually see we've knocked down that ghosting that comes back this is perfectly normal uh, they just say you can just wipe it down and then just coat over it and then it won't come back so you may see this on on various panels and you may not so just gonna know that this is an expected condition and that not to be worried about it you just go ahead and re resume to your natural coating uh, your natural coating application process and you'll be fine all right thanks for watching